We are basically, our outlook is still pretty, really pretty constructive on, in terms of the unemployment rate. We do think we can actually work our way down closer to 9% and, and really move away from this 10% level, you know, as we get, as we start moving through the course of the year. So that's what we're looking for. We're just looking for, very, you know, we think the risks are that we actually, the hiring picks up, picks up a little bit faster and starts driving this unemployment rate down a little bit faster than people are thinking. How does this tie in, John, to rates? Because uh, you're advising clients uh, on interest <laughs> rates for State Street. Uh, does the Fed have to wait for unemployment to come down substantially? Because it's one of their two main mandates, right? Before before they can start to, to raise rates? You know, this is this is kind of the real tricky part of the equation going forward. So, you know, we were thinking that the Fed might try to, you know, say, look, the rates now are set for, you know, the financial crisis. And we're two years, we're almost two years past the financial crisis. All of our metrics for the financial crisis have really done a tremendous amount of healing. So 0% funds rate just creates a lot of distortions, a lot of unusual incentives. So we were thinking that, you know, we might begin to see the Fed shift away in terms of the language and that kind of thing going forward and, and sooner rather than later. But that said, uh, you know, and that may happen, but that said, the Fed almost uniformly this week pushed back against the idea that they are going to hike rates anytime soon. So this is a what I would call a very dovish Fed going forward, which means that's actually good for the equity markets. 